Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing good and I just came out as I have mentioned for yesterday that I'm not very well and uh, the reason of not being well is I had a lot of pineapple which has got acid and it affected my body. So it just, um, that's okay, I'll be fine. Uh, this is a message I didn't send. Oh, you can support me by sending stars. I don't know how to let go of this. I, I mean, I, I didn't send this to anyone. Okay. So, uh, welcome everyone. And I, I usually come live with my mood. And I don't know. Uh, the thing is that um, when I come live. Like, you know, if I inform you, sometimes I don't feel like coming live. So today topic would be like why some some people they attract emotionally unavailable partners and I'm going to let you know why okay uh, see when we uh, when a child is kid they usually attract uh, uh, you know they, they might have parents or one of the parents are not emotionally available to that kid so uh, it can be both the parents or one of the parents hi Samir okay hi okay thank you so one of the uh, one of the kid might not be uh, too much emotionally attached to the uh, to the parents and because the parents uh, a mother uh, or a father is not emotionally available to that person uh, to the child what happens the ethereal cord which connects between the child and the parents especially it happens with the mother you know why should i come to inbox you just let me know what you want you know you can just write it down uh thank you so much for your love and support so um the the cord becomes thinner or disappears in the course of time the well, that cord is connected to the mother more between the mother and the child more uh, but we are all connected very strongly it's like uh, having one consciousness so what happens is when the child becomes adult they, they they attract a partner it can be a male or female partner who is emotionally unavailable okay one of the partner might be unavailable so to heal that part how do you heal it you have to do a age regression on that you have to connect with your inner child and just delete that negative cord completely from your mom and dad and re-establish a new cord which is of like you know which is acceptance which is where you are being listened where you are accepted you have to remove that cord completely which is of abundance you know if you are abundant then that that cord has to be totally deleted okay so once you go within and heal yourself completely and you can do hoponopono prayer like saying i'm sorry that i attracted this situation in this lifetime i'm releasing it god universe or whoever you want to say that negative cord or a cord of abandonment or emotionally of unavailable parents you have got you have to completely forgive them and release that energy completely once you do that then re-establish a new cord with them uh, in the astral uh, body imagine the astral body of them like they are in front of you tell them that you love them so much you know and return you know imagine that they love you too they say that we love you they are saying that they are sorry and you are accepting it somewhere or other you are forgiving those things totally in this lifetime with those two souls who are playing uh, as parents in this lifetime once you establish you go to your inner vibration of self contentment love confidence within yourself with this love vibration when you put a message to the universe that you are ready to to share that love which is within you you will definitely attract a partner which is emotionally fulfilling and available to you so let's go to now a um, uh, message uh, right now for a tarot message what is there for you today by the way uh, if you need this is a general reading and if you really need a personalized reading then you can actually book a three hour session tarot and angel card reading with healing and why i do three hours it's long a lot of people tell me the reason is i not only see tarot and angel card reading but also prophecy of goddesses card which is actually designed by me then i check the fairy cards i check numerology then i also teach how to let go of your uh, of your uh, shadow self which is 
you want to manifest something a giant goal and it's not happening some patterns are showing up and some some things uh, which is coming in a near future and you're not liking it you can alter it too those are the things which i take care of and then there is a meditation involved before like just to ground yourself and then there are healing which i do uh, before you uh, finish the session uh, so that the uh, any any negative energies are there in your aura it gets cleansed so that is the reason i take 3 hours uh, in person you can just uh, i get, i book a exotic place you know with lunch or dinner and uh, it's a totally experience of conversation and deep healing uh, in zoom of course it's like a coffee date you know for 3 hours but you will have a great experience so to, let's see the anybody who comes live right now you can just check it out um, and ask me any questions you want to ask otherwise you can DM me and book a course uh, you know I'll send you the details about it okay thank you so much and let's connect and see what the first arrow cards okay the two cards came out is the Sun card uh, for let me show you the first card which came out is Knight of Swords the second card which came up is the soft the is came up the sun card so this is very interesting um, to see so let's keep this card aside but let me shuffle the cards I just love tarot reading I mean like it's so passionate about I don't see much about myself <laughs> whenever I see about myself it goes other way around because I'm so flipping in my mind and I keep manifesting so the last card which came is the full card so let me check so okay this is interesting card I, I want to pick up one more card I don't know why it's coming up to me uh, okay the world card has come so oh my god my card has spoiled almost uh, three okay let's go ahead with this card uh, okay so you are going to travel the travel is coming to your life right now so a lot of opportunities are coming but you're so stuck in your old energy so that is not very good uh, thing to do you know you're just stuck in your old gifts you're stuck in your old habits you're stuck in your old maybe something which you it's not happening and the universe is giving you new people in your life you're giving new relationship in your life giving you new opportunities in your life and you're just stuck in the old relationship maybe in the same relationship with the old energy so don't do that open up yourself to the universe it's like a inner a inner and outer journey is coming up it's like an infinite journey you need to take uh, right now and uh, that's something which is really showing up and the angels and the universe is supporting you with a lot of opportunities are coming up it's just that you have to turn right or the left where the opportunities are there you're just stuck in the old thing don't do that now the next thing is coming is sun name and fame good contacts maybe high profile contacts are coming up whatever you say people are going to take it seriously leadership skills which you have got you need to tie it's time to show up because that will shine whatever you say people are going to listen uh, and influential contacts will come to your life as you travel you know so traveling will really bring you new opportunities in your life so interesting part is that the king and the queen card is coming together the king and the card is coming together so uh, this is uh, a king queen of cups is coming and the king of swords are coming together so it is uh, great you know you have to be you have to keep a balance between your emotions and your mind you cannot be you can have emotion a lot of opportunities which will come you have to uh, feel it also in your gut feeling do I feel emotionally fulfilled but you cannot be hundred percent emotional you know you have to use your mind to analytical mind too you have to be shrewd you have to be determined if you're determined then you are going to achieve your goals that's very important if you don't go hundred percent by mind if you go hundred percent by emotions you are like you will become like a fool you will you will fall down somewhere okay and the dog where I see a dog it's warning you be careful like where you step in so but the plus point of the fool card also says that 
you you should take a risk you are a risk taker in your life so when you take a risk it's like either you will fall down 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 or you will jump to a new opportunity the next stage of your life right now so it is very unpredictable in your life but just don't go blank be grounded sorry i'm sitting outside the starbucks so it's a lot of noise but i like it to be outside so uh you have to be very focused do meditation do very be very focused on yourself first and uh, don't be 100% of mind and 100% of emotions keep a balance between your your emotional body and your mind when you take your decisions in any part of your life but right now it's a high time to travel far and wide take one giant set giant goals like you know and then walk into it the path the rest of the path will be shown to you but whatever is coming up you have to be very determined very convinced it in yourself and very confident and winning the battle in your mind first is more important uh, and then you step out with that vibration definitely 